Welcome. Today's lesson is on alfalfa seed judging. This particular uh, seed crop is extremely important in uh, the Western United States. It accounts for $11.3 billion of revenue in uh, the California state economy. Uh, just in milk alone, it's, it, it accounts for uh, $6.9 billion. So alfalfa is, is kind of a big deal here in the Western United States. And uh, so it's really important to be able to start with a good foundation, a good seed stock. So what we're going to be looking at today is how to judge that. So uh, first thing we want to take a look at is what do you actually judge it on? And really there's kind of just pretty much two things you look for. Reproducible factors versus non-reproducible factors. Those things that can be reproduced out in the field, like other seeds, is definitely going to be a bit of a nuisance. Um, and of course, in, in some cases, it can really cause some kind of, of problems um, out in the field. Uh, one of the most important things in the reproducible factors is noxious weeds. Weeds that have uh, uh, are, that are problematic. They're hard to control. Uh, they they ruin the quality of uh, of the crop. So noxious weeds like field bindweed, yellow star thistle, daughter, just to name a few, are just some of the the um, the noxious weeds that you should be learning. Um, the other thing, the next thing that the next big thing, of course, is other crops because they're taking away resources from that particular seedling. So because it's a relatively small seed, um, anything that competes against it is obviously going to be a bit of a problem uh, when it comes time to trying to grow a good stand of alfalfa. <clears throat> and of course, uh, common uh, weed seeds are also uh, an indicator of, of quality as well. So noxious weed is the biggest thing. Uh, the second thing are other crop seeds, and the last thing is common weeds. Now when we look on the non-reproducible sides, that's really kind of a... Um, a quality issue as far as what kind of things you can find in it. Uh, things uh, damage. Damage is a kind of a big thing f for these really small seeds because it isn't a whole lot of cotyledon, so they can't uh, store as much uh, energy as they might like to. Uh, so that any damage to the cotyledon usually is going to reduce vigor, reduce seed germ, and those kinds of things. And also, we're looking at how plump they are, how, how much energy have they stored. And obviously, it's a good thing. If they're kind of small and shriveled, obviously, that's going to uh, impact their, their uh, thriftiness. And then there's luster. Luster is just a kind of a, a, kind of a, um, kind of a quality uh, control kind of thing, things that you can look at to see if, it, if it's bright or it's luster. So that's usually kind of an age thing. So uh, after every year, uh, you're going to lose a certain percentage of, of germ. And then the last thing is things like dirt and, and chaff and, and a variety of other things. So those are the kind of the things you're going to be looking for today. Now, what, what I try to do is I just try to go through them very quickly, a quick kind of survey. So let's dive into these really quick. As you can see in, in seed number one, or in sample number one, we already have a, a, a seed. Um, well, we'll look into it later. But if you look at the color of this, it should be kind of a golden brown, a few offset uh, um, colors, maybe a little tinge of green, uh, a little bit darker brown. So you can see kind of a variety in number, uh, number uh, one. And number two, if you look really carefully, lots of clods in it, inert material like some sticks and some chaff. Nothing too big uh, in it, but definitely it's, it's quite dirty. So that's going to be a bit of a problem for number two. So number one, we saw some kind of weed. This has dirt clods in it. But both are relatively uniform in, in their size. So when we get to number three, again, uh, same sort of thing. A fairly decent quality seed um, that is uniform. Um, and as, as we continue to look th uh, through it, we have a few dried seeds. Uh, <clears throat> This one may lack a little luster, but still not a bad in terms of this quality. And as we sort through it, um, we can see that there doesn't seem to be too much wrong with it, um, but it's still a pretty good sample. Then we get to this one. This is kind of bright and lustrous seed, but we got a problem right at the very uh, start. You can see these kind of angular, rough seeds. There's two of them right there, really uh, apparent in, in this sample. So we sort through and maybe look a little harder for some other things you might find. And uh, if you take a look at the, the, the shape and the color of the, this particular seed, it's not too bad. 
Um, but obviously, we've, we've uh, seen some major things in each one of these. So, next thing we want to kind of consider is we want to take a look at some of the uh, problematic things. Things like daughter. Uh, that is a parasitic plant, which is a tremendous uh, drain on a, on a plant's resources. And so you get kind of poor quality, and of course it spreads. Here are the seeds are very, very tiny. Notice they're about the same color of... Uh, of seed is is alfalfa they're rounded they're very rough in their texture on their seed coat and this is what of course the uh, alfalfa looks like so you can see how difficult it would tell be able to tell uh, apart between daughter and of course uh, alfalfa and uh, there's some some other uh, alfalfa seeds uh, with a characteristic shape as well as color so let's compare some we're going to compare a, a couple different at a time so we're going to look at number one again and um, if, if you look at number one, we're going to look at it a little bit more carefully, going to sort through it a little bit more. Again, very good color. Um, it, it's uniform uh, in its color and it's in shape and its size. <clears throat> but as we look through it, we want to make sure that it is clean as it possibly can, it can be. But we already see that seed right there. And if you take a look, it's kind of mottled. Um, and it has that kind of, of beige color to it. And, and that's real characteristic of um, milk, uh, blessed milk thistle. That's a common weed. And as you, we can remember um, from our little summary sheet, we, we notice that that is like second on the hit list of, of things we need to look for. Now we're going to look at sample number four. Number four um, is, again, a kind of a bright, not so lustrous, but again, those two particular weed or weed seeds, and they kind of look like stones, and their seed coat is really, really rough. So I'm going to like a, take a little closer look at them. Some seeds that come to mind are some Jimson weed, Velvet leaf, all of which aren't very good for for alfalfa. But this one happens to be real characteristic because it's, it's angular stone look. That's going to be a uh, field bindweed, a noxious weed. So uh, in the first one, we had a common weed. In this one, we have a noxious weed. So let's take a look at number three. Uh, number three, again, if we look at this one, color is good. And as we unveil each and every layer, we take a look at they're well-formed. Uh, they're very plump. Uh, they tend to be very lustrous. So this tells me that this seed is in really, really good condition. It probably will have a lot of seed vigor in it. And then let's take a look at number two. Right off the bat, you see some dirt clods. You see lots of soil of particles in it. And uh, this one isn't quite as lustrous. It could be just because it's covered with uh, soil, <clears throat> kind of dusty. But it's in of good shape. It's good color. I, I think this one will probably do really well. We're just talking about cleaning some seeds. It's, it's, it's not going to be, I don't think, that tough to... Um, to take care of. So there are comparisons. So after uh, kind of formulating in your mind, you had one that had a common weed, you had number four that had a, a, a some kind of field bindweed, you had sample number three, very clean, and then this last one right here um, it is just the only thing wrong with it is it's just dirty. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and go with um, three, two, one, four. So let me give you just a quick critique over three, two, one, four, so we can get an idea of what's what's happening here. If you take a look at number three, and also you may want to do this when you are really doing reasons and and you're in the room trying to uh, jot things down. I try to jot down notes um, on. Um, these to tra train my students to jot down notes as they go along. This is a very clean sample, number three is. It's bright, it's uniform, has natural color. It's, it has a freedom from, from common weeds as well as noxious. If this one is, is planted out in the field today, it'll have an excellent germ rate and have a, various, very, a, a very vigorous seed growth today. So that's why I placed it first. In second place, I put sample number two. Sample number two is very much like um, sample number three, but I had a noxious it and put it in second in place primarily because um, it needs to be clean and every time you have to take it back uh, to the processor it's gonna they're gonna dock you a little bit of uh, cash however I do like this seed it's just on the dirty side for me today and in sample uh, sample number one is in my third position today and primarily it was a clean bright sample but I had to place it in in third place because of the common weed of 
uh, blessed milk th- thistle. This will take away some from some of the nutrients and resources the plants need. And because it's a bigger weed, it, it might outcompete uh, some of the uh, stand for um, uh, seed vigor out in, out in the, the sample today. So. In the last place, I put sample number four. I think it was pretty obvious that this is field bindweed, a noxious weed, which will reduce its saleability and its quality. And, of course, uh, uh, um, it'll probably also uh, fight for some of the resources. So uh, pretty much there you have it. We have it 3214. I hope this has helped you, and we'll see you uh, at, the, at the next contest. Thanks.